found on our shores. Now another hold an institution is shutting up shop for good. But fans have a chance to get a little slice of history. From the original Aussie Ute to the GTS, Monaro, Statesman and Sandman. Whether it was a family car, a racetrack favourite or a prototype. If it came with a Holden badge, heart and a bit of character, you'd find it at the National Holden Motor Museum. It's an honour to be in charge of a lot of cars like that. It's a, you know, it's a proud thing to be in the Holden Museum. Mark and Tony Galea share a last name and a love of Holdens. It's that love that led the mates to buy Australia's oldest Holden Museum back in 2017. Check out the big block of this one, mate. Both moved from Melbourne to Echuca on Victoria's border with New South Wales to take care of a 50-strong collection of cars and hundreds of pieces of Holden memorabilia. I'm very proud of the place. Had a lot of enjoyment from people that have come through here. Now, we've got some, some pretty amazing cars, and most of the cars that we have have got stories of their own. So tell us, this is a pretty special car? Yeah, this, uh, this uh, 1975 HJ Kingswood. It, everyone that had a Holden, uh, most people did have a, a Kingswood, so it's very Australian. This particular Aussie icon made more iconic by its actor owner. It's owned by Shane Jacobson, so this was in the movie uh, Charlie and Boots with Paul Hogan and Shane Jacobson. Shane's pride and joy carried him with Hogs across the country in the 2009 road trip film. In fact, Oi, hang on, it's a Holden Museum. They even paid a visit to the museum itself. Kids, who can show me the first Holden model made with a left hand drive? The FB. Thank you, sir, but I was asking the kids. We love having this car here. It's been here for a long time, but Shane Jacobson has always supported us. It's not just about the cars, it's, it's about the travels. There's a lot of passion out there and from young kids right up to the oldies. And everybody has a story to tell you, even if they might come in and say, oh, I'm, I'm a Ford person, but they've got a story to tell you. In 1948, the first Holden was dubbed the car made in Australia for Australia. And for almost 70 years, close to 7.7 .7 million Holdens were made here. You get more for your money in Holden, Australia's own car. The time is now, and the car is Holden. New 1966 Turbo Smooth Holden. Yes. We love Holden. Until the last Commodore rolled off the line in 2017. For Mark and Tony, the time has also come to retire. They couldn't find a buyer for the museum, so have had to close the doors, with dozens of cars, part of private collections, hitting the road. Oh, sad, sad. Steve Demanuel has owned his Holden for more than 35 years. Oh, it's a HRX2, one of the first performance Holdens. It's been mass produced. It was pretty much my first car, and I've painfully restored it to show in condition and done such a good job on it, I just couldn't drive it. <laughs> Too fussy. For years, Steve's car has been admired inside the Holden Museum, but with the doors closed, he and son Henry are carefully moving her on. Now, all of Steve's hard work will be on show at the Museum of Vehicle Evolution, along with Shane Jacobson's Kingswood, down the road in Shepparton. And that's the main reason to, to have it at the museum, so other people can enjoy it, sort of being locked up in a garage at home. Some of the other owners have decided to sell their wheels, the cars joining dozens of Holdens from around the country, ready to go under the hammer on the 18th and 19th of May, with hundreds of pieces of merchandise and memorabilia. Auctioneer Ashley Burns is in charge of selling the lot. So you think this will be one of the big sellers on the day of oh, the auction? Absolutely. I mean, it's one of, one of Holden's best cars right there. I mean, it's the, it's the Holy Grail. It's the HQ Monaro 350. I think you'd need a third of a million. So this is one of the rarest cars here, Ashley? It is. It's one of three built by GMH for their executives of the era. It's got the Monaro good looks of the two-door coupe fitted out with the, uh, the luxury of the Statesman Caprice at the time. It's not just the cars and memorabilia up for sale. While Mark and Tony haven't been able to find a buyer for the business, 
They are auctioning off the name. So we could see a new era of the National Holden Motor Museum start again somewhere else. So I might come along and buy a few things and, and, and set it off somewhere else. The Holden history will remain uh, what, you know, way beyond um, us. It's something that's going to go on and on for a lot of years. Um, because everybody was very disappointed when Holden shut down. Um, and then at the end of Australian automotive manufacturing, Holden was the last one. Uh -huh.